Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hey, it's trying to dry out here in Michigan. People are getting fertilizer and things dropped off the field, trying to get things spread, but just still a little wet. Michigan's one of the last states to be able to get planted. So chemical company came, Helena, and they said they buried a semi, so we had to let them borrow our tractor. I'm gonna try to see if they get hooked up and see how this folds out. We're gonna, we're getting that tractor out anyway hooking it up to our plow we're gonna be doing some mow board plowing so that's gonna be be a lot of fun I think you're really gonna enjoy that but that won't be till probably next week we got a bunch of rain coming in so let's see what happens That was uh, that was actually kind of ugly, but it goes to show you, man, you don't drive a semi in there like that on tile field, just not dry enough yet. So we got him out. They're gonna fill in them holes back there, and we're gonna move on. So we did a good deed for the day. Move on, see what else we got going on at the farm. Yeah, he had to give him a heck of a jerk to get him out of there. That was uh, really in there. Pulling uphill, stretch that rope probably twice as long as what it was. But that happens sometimes. When you're farming, sometimes you're going to get stuck. Stuff happens. Hey, look what got dropped off. Corn seed. Five pelts. Growing all the cob this year. Uh, Switch providers. Someone come in, give us a better deal. What can I say? So 200 acres, usually plant about 500 acres of corn. 200 acres, that's gonna be silage corn. The rest, it'll be grain corn. Uh, it's a fair amount of, this stuff's uh, very expensive. You wanna take care of this stuff. Hopefully we have a better spring, get the, get the crop in the ground. Last year, it was terrible. I mean, some of you farmers know, but hopefully this year we get in there and uh, a lot of our non-tile ground last year, we didn't even get planted. So a lot of that stuff went back because you can't plant corn after a certain period of time. Usually plant 500 acres of soybeans. The soybeans you can stick in a little bit later, but, and then the rest of our ground is all hay and uh, wheat. Check this thing out. Dad come pulling in with this uh, a couple days ago. New disc on the farm. Auction, 
It's going to replace our other Krauss disc. This is an older disc. Don't get me wrong, it's been sitting outside. A lot of our tillage equipment sits outside anyway. We don't have enough sheds for all our tillage, but if you look at this, man, they these guys, there's a lot of new bolts right in there on the on the on the main frame and a lot of grease. Someone rebuilt this with the size of look at the displays on this thing. Someone rebuilt that bad boy. So we're it's a 30 footer, I think. Oh, we like discs around here. Especially if it can get dry on our tile ground. But yeah, this is uh we're gonna hitch on that. Pull a color packer or a harrow behind there. It's a Krauss disc. We like Krauss disc. We've got a bigger John Deere disc, but Krauss is usually it's one of the top of the lines. And uh John Deere discs are alright too, but this is just a good we're excited to use it. So what we'll do is there's the other disc that we're, we're replacing. I'll get this one, you know, it's, it's all ready together, good to go, but I'll go over it one more time and make it make sure everything is tight on it and there's no bearings out, and I'll put that up for sale next, sell that out right and uh, help pay for this. But yeah, you can just see, they've, they've, been, they've been working on this and uh, there's no cracks or breaks in it. We looked at all of the main frame. I mean, look, it's got walking tandems on that one there that does didn't you know so this will help hold the wings up better if you look there he's got he you know dad bought this this is an hour and a half away which is a long way to pull this thing uh hour and a half so the guy greased all the hubs and put a couple new tires on there just be nice but pulled the home hour and a half had to take the back way took him quite a long time but that's what that's what he does he finds his equipment he doesn't care where it's at he'll get it he'll bring it home moving on Another thing Dad's been doing is the cows are locked in to be milked here. Working on a trailer. Got a trailer given to us. Uh, shackles and everything holding the axles on are all rotted off. So they got this thing flipped upside down. They're rebuilding it. We're going to pull it, be like our bulldozer trailer. Just pull within five miles. It's not exactly going to be legal, but our other trailer is not as good. So let's just see them working on this thing. It's a heavy duty old girl uh, pinnel hitch. Just it just was got rotted out. The guy put a newer deck on it. But you can see he's done a lot of a lot of work to it. He built these. Um, he's got what's he got? He's got three of the four done. Well, two. Well, he's got to do these centers still. And other than that, I mean, we're gonna. It, it's, it's it looks worse than what it really is for what we're gonna use it for. I mean, this is. The other one we got is just too short. I mean, you get that bulldozer on there, and that's about all. People see us coming down the road with that other trailer, and they think, man, these guys are crazy. What are they doing? This one will look a little more legal. And as much as you're going to use it, you know, you just, you're just using that dozer a handful of times a year, you know, clearing stuff. But you got to be able to move. This will help with that. Took the duels off of this girl. Uh, this one's going seen in the last video sold it she's they're coming today or tomorrow and they wanted the duels off so they can haul it so this baby's finally they're coming and uh got more room in the barn batteries low charging it up so a lot of fun a lot of fun so let's see what else we can get into man they said that rain was getting to move in here Boy, it moved in quick. Look at that. Now we still got to eat, even though it's raining and snowing. So let's get up here. High moisture grain, haylage, corn silage. Check it out.
show you a little feeding. Something I do every day, two, two, three times a day. What's a video without showing feeding? Push this little bit of round bale here underneath, keep them dry. There's the feed, there's a nice cow there. I always check them out while I'm feeding them. If you guys been on this channel while well, you know that. There's a drain. Water runs right through here. That's how much water we're getting right now. That's all right. Ground temperature's still too cool, cool to do anything in the fields anyway. This will help green stuff up. A lot of cows in here laying down, leisuring. Bunks are still pretty full. A lot of haylage in that right there. That's good protein. Help give them more milk. Yeah, I wanted to show you this cow I got here, calf last week. I'm gonna try to keep it down here. Um, milk fever. Gave uh, gave her two or three IVs to get her going. Once we did get her going, she got up, started milking her. She didn't clean properly. A lot of times that'll happen. There she is laying down, 102. See, she's leaking something like out of the back end there. Uh, in two weeks here, probably another week. I'll give her Lutalize to help blow that out. That's her looking at us, 102. Well, in the midst of the milk fever, we tried to milk her, two bad quarters on her. Uh, it means two of her teeth were, had clear coming out of them. I mean, I thought she was a goner. Success story here. Treated her, and we shipped our cows on Monday. You know, it was borderline whether she was gonna make it or not. Her body just started working, her immune system started pumping, and her bag just cleared right up. She's strong. I mean, this is a big cow, strong stature, heck of a build. And I'm gonna get out here. Um, but like my brother said, we gotta make a call on her. And I said, okay, well, let's just give her a chance. Her bag's starting to clear up. Two of them quarters started working, started producing milk again. Uh, un unreal. The I sold, I said to him, this just cow is amazing me every day. I mean. A lot of times they, they just it's the cows like a person if this this thing's gonna have to fight you know they, they're gonna have to fight to want to live or whatever whatever you want to call it that cow fought her butt off wanted to live and she's kicking butt so that's a success story and i don't like that some of them they'll just they get sick and you can't bring it out of them take this feeder here I'm doing all this while i'm feeding pumps are getting full cows are loving it look at them right there what's up guys how you doing turn it Put it right on him. I shut that down. Enough feed for them for the afternoon. Uh, rain set in. What can I say? Once this dries out, hopefully next week we'll hit the field. I know you're going to enjoy that. That's going to be awesome. Uh, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Hit the bell. Uh, stick around for a while. Try to put a video out once a week. Uh, stay on the dairy products. Milk, cheese, yogurt, things like that. Uh, sour cream. And last but not least, uh, continue praying for my niece, Michaela. She's doing great things to get back to where she was. So... See you in the next video. Thanks.